In the aftermath of Japan's annexation, Korea's royal family, reigning for over 500 years, faced a dramatic shift. Post-World War II, as Korea regained its freedom, a crucial decision loomed. Restore the monarchy or embrace republicanism? Unraveling this historical quandary in a short animated documentary. In the late 19th century, Japan's victory over China relinquished its grip on Korea. Emperor Gojong, seizing the chance for Korean independence, declared the establishment of the Korean Empire. However, Japan's subsequent defeat of Russia in 1905 altered the geopolitical landscape, leading to Korea becoming a Japanese puppet state in 1910. With the formal annexation of Korea, the need for a royal family diminished. Emperor Sunjong, installed by Japan, served under a new dynamic. Fast forward to 1945. Korea faced division between the US and the USSR. Plans to include Britain and China fizzled out, leaving monarchy enthusiasts out in the cold. Why didn't Korea reinstate its monarchy? Several factors played a role. The passage of 35 years since an independent Korean government, coupled with the demise of former leaders, hindered any swift restoration efforts. Collaborators with Japan further complicated matters, diminishing the royal family's appeal. When the U.S. occupied the South, Syngman Rhee emerged as the provisional government leader. Calls for monarchy restoration persisted, but the U.S. wasn't inclined. Monarchs, despite being anti-communists, didn't align with Rhee's power-centric approach. The Korean War's eruption in 1950 marginalized the monarchy even more. Post-conflict, Rhee prevented royal family members from returning until 1963. By then, Korea had been a republic for so long that monarchy revival seemed impractical. Join me in exploring this historical journey, shedding light on the complexities that shaped Korea's post webby 2 trajectory. Special thanks to my subscribers for supporting the channel.